a teacher, I should say, facing drug charges tonight. Now Erin Staples is off the job. We first told you at 5 she was indicted after a DEA investigation. Now 9 on your side's Evan Millward joins us with what comes next. Evan? Well, Clyde Aaron Staples could face up to five years in prison for that drug charge. And we were mentioning the DEA investigation. That's how this all started. They're not involved anymore. So this is just a state charge. Now, in the last half hour or so, we've been talking to some students here at Holmes Middle School. They were telling us that Staples was dedicated to her students. She was extremely passionate about teaching. One student even telling me that regardless of what she's accused of, if it were to be true, that student didn't think it, Staples would have let it interfere with her work here at the school. She is scheduled to be arraigned in this case September 8th. Uh, the Commonwealth attorney says she is cooperating with investigators and she is not in custody. We've also been learning a little more about the other staff member charged for drugs here at Holmes Middle School. That man, we've been telling you, 26-year-old Quincy Tyus, he was a security staff member here, also an assistant coach. Also part of a DEA investigation, not the guy the DEA was looking for. He also just faces state charges. His case uh, is still working through. We are continuing to keep an eye on this and get some feedback from this community. Until then, we're live in Covington. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.